Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. Welcome to the next video on my platform. My name is Saurabh Bharti, Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional. Today's video is about introduction to Microsoft Copilot Studio and Agents. Uh, this is going to be a series of videos where I will be starting with introduction and then see how we can build our own agents and understand about the different components and the functionalities and the options which we have within the Copilot Studio. Now without further delay, let's start the today's uh, video. This is a quick uh, disclaimer uh, from me. Okay, so before we start about talking about what is Copilot Studio and the agents and, and all sort of things, it is very much important for us to understand what is generative AI because based on that only the Copilot Studio and the agents are built. To understand the generative AI, we need to first understand the artificial intelligent. Artificial intelligent AI is like a smart computer that can think and learn from data just like humans learn from the experience. And generative AI is a, a special type of AI that can create new things like a text image even the music based on what you ask for it. And it works uh, by understanding your words and then generating a response just like a human would it uh, would uh, do in a conversation. And there are certain popular tools uh, like Microsoft Copilot uses the generative AI to help with writing answers, questions, and even the coding. So generative AI makes uh, work and uh, the learning easier by giving the quick, smart and creative answers whenever you need help. Now this generative AI application works using the language models, which are a special AI program that understand and generate human language. These models help AI analyze text, summarize information, compare different text, and even create a new sentence just like a person would do. And they use the natural language processing, which is also called as NLP, to make sense of the words and the meaning while the technology behind them is can be complex. All you need to know is that they help a AI to understand and respond to the language in a smart and a useful way. So now we have understood about the generative AI and the language models. Now, sorry about that. Okay, so now since we have understood about what is generative AI and the language models, which are behind this Microsoft Copilot, Copilot Studio and the agent. So let's break down Copilot, Copilot Studio and agents, three powerful AI tools that help bring the intelligence to your work in a seamless way. Think of these as a new kind of user interface for AI. So which is UI for AI, where instead of clicking through menus or writing complex code, or uh, you simply talk to AI and it understand what you need and let's explore how they work. So first thing is what is Copilot? Copilot is your AI powered assistant built uh, right into the tools you already use like Microsoft 365 applications. Instead of searching for information, writing long emails or analyzing data manually, you can you just ask Copilot and, and it helps instantly whether it's drafting a document, summarizing a meeting, automating repetitive tasks and Copilot makes it work faster and smarter. Now, what is Copilot Studio? Now let's go a step further. What if, if you could customize your Copilot to understand your business, your data and your specific needs? That's where Copilot Studio comes in. Think of Copilot Studio as a graphical low code tool that lets you design and tailor Copilot's behavior with just few clicks, you can connect it to your enterprise data, build auto automations using Power Automate and even create custom workflows. The best part, you don't need to do, you don't need to be a developer to use it and it's designed for everyone making AI more accessible than ever. So now what are agents? Inside Copilot Studio, you can create agents, AI powered assistants like a Copilot, Microsoft Copilot that can interact with people, understand requests, take actions. 
And agents are not just chatbots. They are intelligent AI companion that can answer customer service questions, provide real time business information, automate common employee requests, integrate with enterprise systems to perform tasks, agent work across multiple platform, website, mobile apps, Microsoft Teams and more. So they can assess users wherever they are with the natural language understanding they can hold meaningful con meaningful conversation helping business work more efficiently so now that is what is your copilot studio agents and copilot now since we understood all these three concepts now let's move further how you can use this tool and build your own agent now to building your own agent you would require this particular tool to be installed for yourself so what you can do is you can enable a trial version which is valid for 30 days for enabling this trial version you would require a work or a school account not you cannot use your gmail outlook account for activating this and your once your trial expires the subscription expires your built agents which you have built based on the trial subscription will be available for 90 days after your trial expires so you don't have to worry about extending extending at the exact time of expiry so now that we know the what copilot copilot studio are and and we understand how to enable the trial version so let's talk about the key component that makes a copilot experience uh, mix up the copilot experience and these are the building blocks that help you your AI assistant understand user users provide answers and even uh, take action let's break them down quickly in different components what we have so first thing is the topics so topics is like structuring your conversation first we have topic these define the different parts a uh, conversation can take for example if user ask about a store hours the agent triggers the store hours topic and respond with it, with the correct information so topics have trigger phases the the conversation notes and we will be talking about all these things in detail in in the future video the next thing which you have it is the knowledge given giving your ai smarts so your ai assistant needs information to provide the answer and that's where the knowledge source uh, comes in scopilot studio lets you connect the data from the document ship on site website enterprise databases like dataverse dynamics 365 this means your ai doesn't rely uh, just rely on the pre-written script it searches the real data to provide up to the up-to-date responses now the next thing which you have as a major component is the actions making AI do what AI AI do work for you. So AI is not just for chatting; it can take actions. With actions, your agent can look up a real-time data like, let's say, the stock availability, trigger workflow like submitting the leave request, connect with the business apps like Power Automate, the cloud flow. So instead of just answering question, your AI AI gets the thing done for you. The next component which you have got is the activity, stacking conversations and fixing the issues. So creating a great AI agent is an ongoing process. That's why activity tracking is very important for us. The Copilot Studio provides an activity map showing how conversations flow, where user drop off, which response needs more improvement. And this helps you to refine your agent and make it more effective over the period of time. The next component which we have is analytics, uh, measuring the performance. Want to know if your AI agent is actually helping users or not? The a analytics dashboard gives you the insight on how many users interacted with your agent, what topics are used most, where users are getting stuck, and this helps uh, you to identify problems and improve your AI assistant. The next component which you have got is the channels where users can interact with your AI. So your AI is not limited just one platform with channels. 
you can make it available on different websites the microsoft teams mobile apps emails outlook or any business applications which you are using like dynamics 365 and the last major component which you need to understand which you will be seeing shortly when i show you the ui for the copilot studio is admin and security customizing and controlling your ai finally admin and security settings let you manage your ai assistant and you can define who can access and edit the ai language settings and customizations branding the name logo personality with these control business can ensure that ai security customization and the compliances are in place so finally the key takeaways the topics structured conversations knowledge provide smart answers using real data actions make ai do real work activity track interaction and improve analytics measure success and optimize the channels deploy ai across multiple platform and admin and security control security and access so these are building blocks make copilot studio a powerful tool for creating ai assistant that actually helps user and businesses so now you are ready with these high level concepts about this so let's go for a demo and in this particular demo what we will be doing we will be talking about the copilot studio interfaces and look at that the options which are available for creating deleting updating other interface components which we have as part of copilot studio once you uh, enable your copilot studio trial subscription you will be landing to the home page of the copilot where you will be looking at in the beginning where you can create quickly create your uh, new ai agent you can look at all your recent agents which you have created you can see the inbuilt agents which are available from microsoft and then you can have an option of creating your own agent is from the sketch from here and you can look at all the available agents by clicking on the agents button here as well now once i let's say open one of the agent which i have it here you see the overview about this agent here then we talked about the different component which we have like topics and knowledge so you can look at the knowledge which has been added for this particular agent which is it can be a website or any dataverse database or any 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 knowledge source and then you have the list of topics where you define the different conversations with the which will be interacted with the users then you have the actions like power automate cloud flow then you can look at the activities you can have the analytics available for you and then you have the channels where you can publish your and make your ai agent available for users to interact with now once all these things are there on the right hand side you can own a way you can parallelly test with uh, test your ai agent when you are building it and if you don't see this you can click on this test option and then this can uh, show you this uh, particular panel uh, for your testing purpose then you have got the setting option where you can define the generative ai modes the agent details the logo name the securities and different options which are available here Apart from there, if you click on these three dots, you can uh, export your agent, which you have created. Let's say if you want to export and move it, import to another environment somewhere, uh, you can use the import option. You can view the solution, you can delete and you can share. So these are your different components uh, from the UI, which are available for you. And hope this is this makes you familiarize with what uh, Copilot Studio is, what agent is, how it how how they have been built what is the basis like generative ai and the language models and then how do you enable the subscription for this trial subscription and then the user interface that's it for this particular video uh, in the next video we will build our own agent and see that how we can how quickly we can build this and then move further with the and delve into the different uh, key concept which we have uh, within uh, within the Copilot Studio while developing our own uh, AI agents. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.